Hello all of you awesome people out there and hey here, nice to see you. Now anyone who's watching, you may be happy to know this is the next episode in the Alpha Billionaire series. Yes, me and Hero have finally decided that it's time to get Hampson Hero here, our lonely little Alpha, up to his 1 billion is goal. So we're going to basically be jumping in exactly where we left off. And where we left off was salvaging anything we could find across New Eden, be that lost or left behind drones, wrecks, loot and left for missions and uh, claiming it as our own. So let's start off by actually having a look at the fit we were last using. So click on your fit there for me, Hero. Lovely, and as you can see in the highs, we had the expanded core probe launcher. We have a tractor beam, two salvages. In the mids, we have stuff to help with scanning, and in the lows, we have lots of CPU mods just to help us make all of this work together in some rigs. So if you do want to use this fit, we'll have it linked in the description down below. So here you've been doing it for a while. How have you got on? Ah, okay, so it looks like you have got lots and lots of good stuff there. How long have you actually been doing this for? Oh, lovely. Okay, so you've been doing it for a good few hours, probably about four hours altogether, and you've got lots of drones there. I can see everything is estimated at about 78, so let's say about 75 to 80 mils worth of stuff. Um, did you run into any snags or anything? No? Okay, you actually found people who will let you run their sites. So that's quite nice. Basically, if you're just asking local and ask if anyone wants to salvage it, if you go to a system which has specific missions always run there, you can usually find people who will let you jump in and, uh, you know, claim all the loot and stuff which they don't want. Just remember to ask them to abandon the wrecks, that way you won't become suspect if you do loot any cargo. So, here, all we need to do now is actually get this stuff sold and uh, take it from there. But before you do, let's have a look on your item hanger. All right, so here is lots of stuff. I mean, here I've actually already discussed this stuff here. Basically, we don't know exactly where it came from. It didn't specifically come from the salvaging. It's obviously stuff we put on the market at some point doing something else. And um, yeah, we can't really add it to any prices because we don't know where it came from. So what we're going to do, I mean, it's only about nine mil altogether. We're basically just going to sell it on the market, add it to our total. But unfortunately, we can't add it to the totals for you know, specific events we've done. Um, so yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So we're, here, we're going to leave you now, get everything sold, and we'll come back to you once you're done. Okay, here, so you're back. That means you've either sold everything or you've run into a problem. Hopefully the first of the two. Great. Let's have a look in your wallet then and see what's going on in there. All right, so we're up to 307 mil. It's good to note that we actually had 236 mil to start with once we sold all the stuff from the item hanger. And we still have about six mils worth of assets left on the market all from salvaging. So from this, we can actually start crunching some numbers to figure out how much we earned. So if we take the 236 mil away from the 307 mil, that leaves us with 71 million ISK made salvaging. Divide that by four gives us 18 million ISK an hour, which isn't really too bad. It's also good to note that we are actually up from the last video by 58 million. So what we need to do now here is take a quick five minutes and we'll jump into what we're going to be doing next. All right, here you are rested and ready to go. Good to hear. Just click on your character sheet for me in the top left. There we are. And then click on the interactions tab. And let's have a look at your standings. Now, I'm asking to look at your standings because next we're going to be running some PvE missions for Sisters of Eve. In particular, the security slash combat missions instead of, say, the mining or logistics. Which we've kind of already covered those topics already. So we'll stick to the, uh, the security ones. Now... Since we don't have any standings whatsoever with the Sisters of Eve, we're basically going to be starting at level 1 missions, which means the payouts aren't going to be brilliant, but hey, we've all got to start somewhere. So basically, missions in EVE Online kind of work similar to quests in other games, where you'll start off by talking to an NPC character that will give you some sort of scenario and a list of tasks to complete. Once you've completed everything in the vast, they'll give you some loyalty points and also a little bit of an ISK payout. And as we all know from the Faction Warfare video, the loyalty points can be used in the loyalty points store to get some awesome faction modules, faction implants, and faction blueprints as well as some other goodies. And in particular, we're going to be running the Sisters of Eve ones because they have some nice stuff in their loyalty points store. So what I need you to do now here is fit a ship for me. I want you to stick to the Mimitar lineup. I would suggest a Thrasher since our skills aren't too good and the extra firepower will come in handy. But basically, as long as you can resist thermal and kinetic and also deal thermal and kinetic because we're mainly going to be up against mercenaries, I'll be happy. So I'll leave you with that and we'll be right back in a minute. And here is the ship Hero has fitted. He's decided to go with the Thrasher, which is an absolutely lovely ship from Imitar, aside from the fact it looks a little bit like a fish, but it hits hard, moves fast. Do you know what else do you want? So let's have a look exactly what you've got on there, Hero. Okay, in the highs, we've got 200mm light scout auto cannons, a full rack of them, so we're going to be doing some nice damage. We've got a NOS as well to help with our cap. We also have a afterburner on there, 1MN. Yep, 1MN, shield booster. 
a adaptive invulnerability field to help with the uh, resists. We also have a tracking and damage mod in the low, so we're going to be able to hit harder and hit better. Small semiconductor memory cell for cap, a small hybrid burst for damage, and the anti-thermal screen reinforcer too, just to help a little bit more of that thermal resist. And of course, lots and lots of ammunition, so we won't need to be running backwards and forwards all the time. So what you need to do now, Hero, simply get yourself into that ship, and uh, we'll take it from there and get into some missions. Are we happy, Hero? Lovely. So what we need to do now is search for the NPCs that are going to give us these missions. So to do that, open up your agency window. There we go, drag it over to the right screen for us. Brilliant. And straight away, we want to click the specified drop down menu at the top there. And we want to search for agents. You can use career agents, but agents gives you like a broader spectrum to work from. Now this is going to show us all of the agents available throughout the whole of New Eden. So what we want to do now is pinpoint to exactly what we're looking for. And to start with, we're going to be clicking the any faction drop down. That's the one. And we're going to search for Servant Sisters of Eve. If you wanted to run missions for a different faction officer, you would just search for that faction in here. So Servant Sisters of Eve for us. And this is going to show us all of the missions available for SOE throughout the uh, entire galaxy. So we want to pinpoint it down even further by clicking the Any Level drop down menu, top right hero. That's the one. And since we can only run level 1 missions, we just want to click level 1 missions. And there we go, so showing us all the level 1 missions for Sisters of Eve. But we can narrow this down even further like Hero is doing. Simply click the Any Type drop down and we want to select Security, which is the Combat Orientated Missions. And here we are, this is exactly what we're looking for. We've got a big list on the left there. Simply pick one which meets your needs. Now we don't really want to go to low sec or null sec, so probably one of the top two would be good for us since it's not you know, missions and missions away. Eight jumps is perfectly reasonable. So here we simply have a flick through them and pick one you like. Now if you want to just click on one of them for me, not one of the 0.1s, go to the top please, the um, eight jumps away one. That's the one there. Click on that. There we go, and it's just going to show us a quick overview of um, basically what the mission's about. So you see the, the right hand side there, set to another one. <laughs> We've got a little Z that's going to show us how much ISK it's going to give us, and the little loyalty point symbol is going to show us how many loyalty points we're going to be getting. Now obviously if that was 3 and 3, you're going to be getting a lot more than one that was say like this one, which is 1 and 1. But since we're running level 1s, we're not really expecting anything major, and as Hero is searching through there, even the low sec and null sec ones don't seem to be any better. So yeah, all you need to do is just simply click on it. You can try and start a conversation with them, but most of them will want you to actually travel to them first. So to do that, just simply, as Hero's done there, right-click their location, set destination, and then off you go. So Hero, get there, and then we'll catch up with you and take it, well, from there. <laughs> So here we are in the correct system and more importantly in the correct stations. The first thing we need to do now is select the agents tab from the station overview on the right hand side. Here we can do that now for me. Thank you. And as you can see there is two agents here both offering level 1 security missions. So we could really choose any of these if we wanted and simply double click them like here it's just done there to bring this window up. And this will give you a brief overview of the mission being offered. But we didn't really come here to talk to him Hero. So can you talk to the lady that's just below him? That's the one, double click again. And as you can see, as we speak to them, it now says offered next to their names in the station overview. It means we can now find the mission in our journal if we wanted to maybe refer to it later or come back to it later on. So on the left hand side, we're going to get a brief little storyline for the mission being offered. But the most important parts are on the right hand side, which tells us the objectives that must be completed. In this one, it is destroy the ships basically at this location. And we also get the rewards, which is 194,000 ISK for this one when we complete the mission and 203 loyalty points as well. If we do complete it within five hours, we get 137 ISK. Level one missions, you will always get the bonus reward unless you like leave it for days and days. This site does contain normal ship restrictions, which Hero's just clicked on. And what you're looking for here is basically the first few lines will tell you if you can use your ship or not. So there it says you may use your Thrasher to access it. If you're in a different ship, it will obviously say you may use your Tristan or you may use your Executioner or whatever you're in. There is a big list there, but pretty much anything that can get into the system can usually do the level one. So that's it. You can simply click accept now to accept the mission or decline at this stage if you want to decline it. And as far as I'm aware, declining it here will not have a negative impact on your standing. So simply close that window, Hero. And let's now have a look at the stuff we can get in the loyalty points store. You'll find the loyalty points store button in the station overview just on the left hand side there there it is and this is all the stuff we can get of our loyalty points now there's lots of good stuff in here this is defaulted to the highest costing ones which is a nester 
I know they go for half a billion, so if you manage to get one of them, good for you. But we're mainly going to be looking at the stuff that costs a lot less. Now, you could spend ages looking through all this stuff because there is tons of it here. Um, but pretty much, you want to get the best stuff you can, or the stuff that costs the most anyway, so we can sell it on the market. So here, you just keep flicking through, and when you're ready, just hit the, uh, the start button, and we'll get into the mission. And that's it, the mission has now started. As you can see in the top left there, we now have a new little drop down thing that says Agent Missions, and it's telling us exactly what we need to do, right down to telling us that we actually need to undock. So we could simply click the undock button like we normally would, but here we just want to click the undock on the left hand side there, just where your mouse is hovering. There you go, and you'll see that it actually undocks for us. So how cool is that? I don't remember that being there, but it's uh, made it missioning a lot easier since you just need to keep clicking the little options in the top left. So now we're in space, you can see we're actually in the correct system already because it's telling us to warp to location. If we're in the wrong system or we had to jump a few systems, it would simply say set destination there and it would obviously set the destination for us. So yeah, warp to location and this is going to take us straight to where we need to be. Now, some locations will simply warp you into the middle of a group of enemies, whereas others will take you to a warp gate. So it's always good to have all your modules running, ready, prepared, reloaded before you actually get there. Now, since this one did actually have some ship restrictions, we're pretty sure we're going to run into a warp gate here rather than a group of enemies just as we have now. But there's no harm in having all your modules ready beforehand anyway. Now, here, I don't think we need to walk anyone through PvE. Do you know if you're actually playing the game, you should know how to lock into something and uh, shoot at it. So we'll simply let you do your thing and we'll catch up to you once you're done. Okay, so here has been running this mission now for a good few minutes. We've actually gone through two rooms altogether. Yeah, and if you look in the top left there, underneath where it says Age of Missions, it now says Dock instead of Warp In. Basically what's happened here is you've managed to complete the objectives before clearing the room, which does happen quite a lot, especially during the level 1 and 2 missions. Sometimes it's as simple as warp in and kill a certain person, it could be kill a certain number of ships. Sometimes it's simply warp in and just get some loot and come back, so it's perfectly reasonable and actually encouraged to just warp in, get the objectives done as quick as possible and get out. You're not going to be getting that much from bounties from level 1 and 2 rats, and you'll get a lot more from rushing through the missions, getting extra loads of points and that extra bit of isk as well. So yeah, simply dock up hero and let's tell the lady who gave us this mission that we are done. And here we are back in the exact same station where we started the mission. So all we need to do now is simply double click here. And then click complete mission at the bottom since we've completed all the objectives. And if you look in our wallet we've been given a little bit of isk which is nice. And we've collected some loyalty points as well. They don't come up with a little pop up but if you do want to check simply open your journal and go to loyalty points. You should see them in there. So if you want to double click here again hero. And this will start the next mission in a little lineup. On the left hand side we've got a different description to what we had before but the story will pretty much follow on from what we've just done. And on the right hand side obviously we've got some different objectives. This one looks like we simply need to warp into the location, uh, find some loot or blow up some ships to get some loot which contains 10 militants. Once we've done that bring them back here and job's done. Yep ship restrictions here as well but it should be exactly the same as the level 1 mission. So once you're ready hero simply hit accept and we'll get going. And another mission down here are you really starting to nail these now keep it up let's have a look in your cargo and make sure we have everything we need to actually complete the mission that should be 20 militants 10 for her and 10 for us because she did want to split them lovely so we need to do now is start a conversation with her and then hit the complete missions button at the bottom as you can see all the objectives have nice little blue checks next to them telling us they're done and we are left with 10 militants for ourselves. Now these are mission specific items, so you usually can't sell them on the market. So if you do want to get rid of them, you can either trash them or right click them. Right click them here, there you go. And I hit find in contracts. And as you can see, these are roughly going for about 100,000 disc per 10 militants, but they don't sell very often because like I said, they're quite useless outside of the mission. So let's have a look at your standings now here and see what's been going on in there. 
Now, as we can see underneath the corporations little drop down, we have Sisters of Eve. They weren't even listed before because we had exactly zero standings with them. We're now up to 0.12 and that's just after doing two level one missions. Right, so we need to get up to about 1.0, I think, to do level two. So here we need a lot more work to do um, to get up to there. And if you look in the bottom right, you can see actually a nice little detailed description of where these standings have come from. So, so far we've done two missions and we've got um, a little bit of standings for both. If you look underneath corporations, we actually have agents and we now have a personal standing with this agent, which is 1.15. Now, I'm not 100% what this means. I'm pretty sure it means that you'll get like better loot, better rewards from them. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm not really sure what the point of having individual standings is. So... And there might be something you want to mess around with here. Maybe do the same agent over and over and see if you get better rewards. So that's pretty much all we have to say on this one. I'm going to go back to the good old days now and just leave Hero to do whatever the hell he wants for like the next few days. And hopefully when he comes back, Joe will have made some money and we'll be able to crunch some numbers and see exactly what we made. So that's pretty much all we have to say on missions. As I said, Hero, just nail through them, get as much money as you can. And uh, we'll be right back. So if you did like this video, then please hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, we'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye-bye. It's about getting an alpha clone up to billionaire status in as short a time as possible. What we'll need to do is I need you to create an alpha clone. And then, but my fit, like I said, is kind of designed to blow these things up at range like this and then go after the boxes after. And I have tried this a few times because I've tried to record this a few times, but something keeps happening like 